हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम सागर उतेकर एंड आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस सोल्यूशन सीरीज विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सोल्यूशन फॉर डेली डेवप्स एस आर ई चैलेंज सीजन वन आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव बीन वेटिंग फ्रॉम लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर द सोल्यूशन सीरीज आफ्टर गेटिंग स्टॉक ऑन दो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रिटिकल चैलेंजेस विच वी have already completed in the season 1 so this is the start today we are going to solve the day 1 challenge from the season 1 without ado let's get started let me verify my screen is visible सो वट वॉज द डे वन चैलेंज फ्रॉम द सीजन वन द चैलेंज वॉज क्रिएटिंग अ मेरी ड्रिवन प्रोग्राम टू चेक दिस सिस्टम हेल्प वाई दिस चैलेंज मैटर बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिस्टम हेल्प वैन you are working in the microservice environment using the cloud provider and to make sure that your system is highly available and the reliable your system is performing very well when you are sleeping then the knowing the system health is very important and it is task of the devops and the sre engineer to know your system is perfectly fine at any hour of the day whether it is day or night right okay this challenge particularly will help you to improve your linux knowledge the shell scripting and some level of we are going to cover the ec2 and some other things other services of the aws okay so the challenge was very simple uh, the challenge had few sub tasks to check the disk usage uh, running services memory usage cpu usage and at the end of the challenge or the sub task you need to send the entire report to your gmail i remember people were asking how to send the email from the ec2 instance or linux machine to gmail don't worry i'm going to cover that as well without to do let's get started there are few prerequisite i have documented the entire solution steps on github repo so you can check out my github repo my github account is sagar2366 and the repo is learn with sagar in the daily challenges folder you will find the solutions for the every day each challenge okay there are two pre prerequisite main prerequisite one is having the gmail account and another is aws account so you can create your aws3 account free tier account as well as create a free gmail account for this exercise going forward also we are going to need the aws account or any cloud account so make sure you have the cloud account at least for solving those challenges once you have your gmail account ready very uh, enable the two step verification and then go for the um uh, your account setting search for the app passwords uh, it doesn't exist yeah once you come here on your gmail account the search for the app passwords and from here you need to create one password let me relog in again okay from here you can create uh, the new app and once you create a new app it will provide you one password which we are going to need to send email from our ec2 instance to our gmail once that is completed come here on to your aws account once you logged in into your aws account then search for the um ec2 service okay is it to service select 
the closest region so i am going to choose the mumbai region i already have my ec2 instance running but let me walk you through how to launch free ec2 instance required to solve the challenge click on the launch instances give the name to your ec2 instance select operating system i am going to keep the amazon linux all other details same then you can create okay sorry what is this okay come here give the name to your ec2 instance select the operating system make sure you are choosing the t2.micro instance type this is a free tier free instance provided into your free tier AWS account and this is what we need for this exercise so uh, this won't charge you anything once uh, this exercise is completed you can delete it no problem if you want to connect this instance using um, SSH then create a key pair okay create a key pair this will download the key pair on your machine and then you can use SSH to connect to this instance I am not going to use the uh, SSH, I will show you one other way to connect to your EC2 instance from the portal. Okay. Then the main important security aspect for this EC2 is creating the security group. From where you are allowing the SSH traffic to your EC2 instance. Make sure you choose the my IP. Okay. My IP in this drop down and then just all other details as default and click on the launch instance that is it once your ec2 instance is running you can select that ec2 instance click on actions there is one more setting we need to add is that i am role so create this i am role amazon ssm managed instance store and attach that to your ec2 instance how to create IAM role? Again, go to your AWS console, search for the IAM service. Okay. And we are going to choose the policy. The policy which is required to connect our EC2 instance. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You can create a role with this policy Amazon SSM Manage Instance Code. This is a policy required for us to connect our EC2 instance. Once that is done, you can come back to your EC2 instance, select the EC2 instance and click on connect. This will allow you to connect EC2 instance using Session Manager, which I recommend all of you. Okay, connect to your EC2 instance and then then go to the home directory for this user home ec2 user done then after that we need to configure the smtp on our instance understand okay you need to install one package SSMTP on your instance, run this command and it will install SSMTP on your EC2 instance. Once that is done, you need to do one more configuration to configure uh, sending emails from your EC2 instance to the Gmail. Very easy steps, create this file or this file should be already present on your machine. Just open that file using VI editor and update all these details in this file root the mail hub the auth user the auth password and all other details you can keep same so you need to update the root email id and auth user and the auth password to send email to your gmail account so remember when we started this video we created the gmail app and we copied the password so that password you need to provide here to send emails from your ec2 instance to the gmail i hope that is clear then let's move for the next step which is verifying or the testing email sending run this command sample command provide uh, the sample content 
to this command use the smtp to send this uh, test email to your gmail account you need to update the gmail address here and once this test is successful which means you are ready for the next step next step is very easy to create this script the script is huge but don't worry i am going to explain every step that is written in the script okay let's copy the script create a new file uh, with the name vi day one solution dot sh okay save this file let me explain every line i have written in this file always start your script with a shabang so this is what we have done we are starting our script with a shabang then we are enabling the debugging mode for our script this is the one of the best practice to start a your script with a debugging mode okay then we are defining some variables which we need later in the script which is email for which email or the gmail we want to send this entire report and where do you want to store the report file or the report of the health check on your system so this is what we are doing so we are going to create one file and we are going to append the result into this file okay next thing is you need to initialize the report file every time you run the script so we are initializing the report file with the empty file every time we run the script after that we have written five different functions this is how we write a function very easy syntax in the shell script write a function name the brackets and in the curly braces you write the code so this is the first function to check the disk usage what we are doing here is this main command using a df-h command we are checking the disk usage that is it very simple the next step is next function is monitoring the services the main command is here checking the services using system CTL list unit command we are providing the additional parameters type is equal to service and we want to only check the running services using this command so this is the command which will help us to identify the running services on our system and you will notice here we are appending the result of these commands into the report file okay the third function is checking the memory usage how we are doing it we are using the free hyphen h command that will give us the memory usage of our system and that result we are storing again into the report file the next function is checking the cpu usage using top command we are checking the cpu usage and storing that into the report file i'm sure you will find this function difficult to understand which is sending email using the smtp let me break down into easier steps what we are doing here is using the if log to check whether the file is present on our system or not if file is not present we won't be able to send the email report right so this is what we are doing if the file is not present exit otherwise create the email content which we want to send so what we can send in the email as you know for every email when we draft the email there are there is subject there is from there is to and the actual email content so that is what we are defining here the subject the from email id the to which means to whom we want to send this email report and the actual content of that email once that is done we are using smtp command to send that email report to our gmail account very easy if the above previous command is successful then we are uh, printing email sent successfully otherwise fail to send the email but these are the function as you know we need to call the function and how we are going to make this script menu driven don't worry this is where the logic is we are using the while block while loop and the cases switch cases to send the um, or create this menu driven program the syntax is very simple we are creating a while loop and inside while loop we are taking a input from the user we are providing the six choices to the user 
to select the option based on the user choices we are exhibiting the function so this is where the function call is happening we when the trigger comes here it is going to call that function okay we have also added one additional choice which is if above options are not selected if something random option is selected then we are going to tell the user to select the correct choice valid choice and whatever the choice you have selected it is invalid so we are handling this script very um, so you know beautifully we have written the while law while loop the switch cases the functions the function calls and then uh, we have also enabled the debugging and so that is what we need so let's go back to our script and try to run the script okay so you'll see here the script has provided the options then let's select the first option which is for the test queue search if you want to continue click the enter and similarly follow other options okay i'm going to select all the options and when i selected the option number 5 it has given or sent the gmail to my gmail account okay so i'm going to exit and that is what the script was all about this is a very easy challenge i am sure you will enjoy it let me check the email report system health report has been arrived here and that is what the challenge was i hope you will enjoy the challenge solving the challenge the now the solution video is easily available but if you find any difficulty while solving the challenge or to understand the shell script for syntaxes then let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to help you also um if you want me to create the one shot video or the series on the linux and the shell scripting uh, let me know in the comments or the community uh, channels and we will make it available for you same as solution video i guess that's it for today uh, see you in the okay that's it for today see you in the next video which is solution video for the day 2 and if you are enjoying my content please make sure share it with your friends learn other learners uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, provide um, some feedback in the comments or the community channels and okay uh, i want to make this series the best i know the challenges were very difficult and people enjoyed it a lot but this series solution series i am creating for the learners who found it difficult and need some um, extra help so this series is dedicated for them i would suggest that instead of going for something random go for this is unique this and we have already received very good feedback people have cleared the interviews people how clear the certification exams they have upskill so why not to go for our own something which is very unique and help going to help you in the future so i don't expect anything less from you keep solving the challenges keep upskilling keep um, helping in the community and let's grow together thank you very much for watching this video till the end and see you in the next video